Djembe drums. These drums originated in Western Africa, specifically in the modern day countries of Mali, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Gambia, and Senegal. In the Bambara language spoken in Mali, the word djembe comes from the words that mean everyone gather together, which is fitting as djembes are often played around the edge of a circle of people who take turns entertaining the circle and dancing. Djembes are traditionally made of wood carved with patterns with an animal skim drum head. Ropes that run up and down around the top half of the drum hold the drum head in place and are also used to tune the djembe. Let's take a moment and get started. Begin by writing your name and class code on the back side of your paper. Oops, my messy mat was a little dirty. Um, I want you to draw two lines going across your paper to divide it into three sections. When you get your paint, begin with yellow. It's the lightest color in the color wheel, so we'll always start with a clean brush into our lightest color. Please paint the top section in yellow. Notice how I washed and dried my brush? You'll also notice I left a little bit of space and moved my painting up higher on the table so that when I paint with red, any paint that goes off of the edge or onto the bottom of my picture, the messy mat will help keep the table area nice and clean as I begin. It also is a nice way to make sure that I'm not getting it on my hands or my arms. So once I went ahead and I painted the top part yellow, the bottom part in red, let's take a moment and think about what will happen when I wash and dry my brush and mix the two primary colors together. Yellow paint plus only a small amount of red paint to mix and make orange. And once I've got my orange, please begin to paint that section in as well. Remember, it's a lot of yellow and only a small amount of red to make that orange. Red is such a strong color, I only need a little bit. I'll need more yellow than orange, or excuse me, I'll need more yellow than red to make my orange color. Again, paint the whole thing using that secondary color, red plus yellow making orange. Let's take a moment, set that to the drying rack, and let that dry. Now, moving into the second piece of paper. On my second piece of paper today, again, do the same thing that I did to my first piece of paper. On my second piece, draw a different line. I drew wavy and zigzag. Look again how much blue paint I used compared to yellow. So I'm starting with a secondary color today. I'm using my yellow plus my blue. Two scoops of yellow and only a tiny bit of blue to give me this beautiful green color. Now, once you've got your green, begin painting on the top section a nice green color. Great. When you're done painting, wash your brush, wipe it dry, and then go to your primary color of blue. You don't have to do any mixing. Please do the middle section in blue paint. Lastly, with my last section, wash my brush, clean it out real nice, wipe it on the sides, dry my brush, and with this last color I added just a little bit of white paint as well. The white paint will make it look more like purple. Lift my painting, make sure the edge of my paper is on the painting mat. And I'll begin to paint the bottom section using blue, red, 
and white to give myself a purple color. I like to add a little bit of white to my painting because otherwise the red and the blue are so dark that sometimes it starts to look like black. So again, it's red, blue, and white to give myself a very pretty purple color. Let's set that on the drying rack to dry as well. Now that my project is dry, you can go ahead and make a U shape for the drum, a trapezoid shape for the bottom, and start decorating using yarn and construction paper to make any pattern or design that you want for your project. Have fun!